it, it's something it's something I think about quite a bit, and 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 how we could um, distill that down for a client. I don't know. I think it's. Uh, I was going to link it back to whether you know lawns keep people do want to keep control, and a lawn is an area of of control, and you know you might get a client who is willing to tolerate say a third of their garden going over to wilderness and um, uh, the uh, visual disorder for them Mm. Um, as long as they can have you know the the sort of lawn area in front of it and so it is a it is a compromise and and sometimes I do go to I've got like a lovely cottage garden I go up and take care of up in the Cotswold Hills and um it's kind of it's got a small fence all around it but the fence is all kind of all kind of falling apart and, and damp and you go just beyond that fence and you're into you're into real sort of dense woodland and um scrubland and there's part of that that has come into the garden come into the back part of the garden where the compost bins are and that it's probably like the most biodiverse part of the garden but it's kind of visually the, the ugliest and it's mm. the most part it's inaccessible so you always have to balance like kind of um you know like kind of i couldn't i would if i put the whole garden to that as just like dense ivy and um kind of steep steep banks that get the sun that kind of bees kind of mm. live in you know it'd be great for wildlife but then um um the client would be able to walk around it so, so <laughs> Yeah, there, there are human um, requirements of the garden that just you have to acknowledge. Yeah, it's such a shame, though. I wish <laughs> the, human, I, the, the humans pay for it, but I wish they would just stay out. Yeah, I should put that on the front page of the website. I'm just, you're paying me, but it's no. You won't go in your here. garden again. Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> the bees will love it. yeah I, I, I'm, I'm still. Um, I'm still trying to, you know, still trying to find that kind of the, the, the balance. You know, because I don't, I don't, I don't want to take. Um, I don't want to take my designs too manicured because it doesn't fulfil. I can't sit there hand and heart and say this fulfils your client brief. Yeah, I'm not gonna. You know, I want a wildlife garden. Okay, well, I'm not. This is what this is what would achieve that. Yeah, and yeah. I just find it. I just find it's that. Um, still trying to find that balance, yeah. and and if we come sort of one eighty. You know, um, I'm specifying more now um, over the last four months uh, for brownfield gardens or for parts of brownfield garden, uh, parts of brownfield areas within a, a larger garden. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And I think that could be uh, the sort of new fr- newish frontier where you can get. A real biodiverse space, trying to create a uh, replicate the brownfield conditions, but you can still have enough. Um, you can still have enough uh, Californian poppies, yeah, agastaches, stuff from Beth Chateau's garden to to give it that garden feel. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Maybe 